dealing with doubts with the law of attraction. Sometimes when we are trying to manifest, we cannot help, it's almost pure human nature, to have doubts. Is this possible? Is my manifestation coming? I need money, but I don't have it. I'm trying to be more abundant, but when I open up my wallet, I see zero money. I'm feeling all this negative emotion. I'm feeling all that doubts. I don't think I can do it. I think there's more I need to do. I think I'm doing it all wrong. We've all had these thoughts before. I've had these thoughts, still have them, right? But how do we deal with these doubts that come up? Because as we know, doubts keep us from getting what we want. So I'll go through with you what I personally do, what I personally do when I start having doubts around a manifestation, the things that I go through, the mindsets I start having, and this helps me out every time so I know for sure it will help you out too. Before we get started though, if you could take a quick, quick moment, there it is, and smash the like button, that'll activate YouTube's algorithm and get this video out to more people that really need to see it. So I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, so here's the main thing I think it's very important when it coming from doubt, right? Doubt in the law of attraction. A lot of people think that, oh, because I'm having doubts around my manifestation, that means I cannot manifest my desire. I need to remove all doubt from the equation 100%. And that's actually not true. And that should be a, a, a relief to those of you that have not heard that before. In order for you to manifest what you want, your desire must simply be stronger than your doubt. Your desire, your want of that manifestation, and the knowing that you can attain it must be stronger than the doubt. You might still have doubts about it, but again, as long as this over here is stronger, the desire is stronger than the doubt, you can still manifest it. The only thing doubt really does is slows down the process, okay? Again, you can still manifest with doubt. Doubt doesn't set you back. It's not like, man, I've been doing really good. Like for the last five days, my, my vibe was raised. I was feeling fantastic. But then I had two days in a row where I just started doubting things and now I gotta start from square one with my manifestation because I'm not gonna get it. No, 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 no. Doubt only stalls you a little bit, right? It just kind of holds you up. It's not taking you back. You're still in the same spot. But again, we have to build up that idea of our desire and knowing it's possible for us to have what giving universe we live in and anything we want we can have. The law of attraction is a beautiful thing, right? The universe is beautiful. It has our back at all time. That must be the dominant, the dominant thoughts. And even if we have a little desire creeping every once in a while, as long as this is here and the, and, the, and the doubt is here, as long as desire is here and the doubt's here, we'll still manifest it. So never worry if you're getting some doubts, okay? Never worry if you're getting some doubts, you can still manifest. Now, with that being said, let's strip away doubts, this idea of doubts and label it as what it really is, resistance, right? Doubts are one way or another, a type of resistance contradictory thoughts to our desires, thoughts that pull us in a different direction of our alignment of where we want to be, okay? So don't ever overcomplicate doubt as some, you know, I don't know, far out thing or something you have to do something different in order to overcome. No, doubt is only resistance. And we need just to treat doubt as resistance. As long as we calm our resistance, we will calm our doubt. So, Really, the question you need to start asking yourself if you're having doubts about anything is, how can I ease up my resistance? Okay, how can I ease up? You don't have to argue with your doubt or anything like that or try to punch it in the face and have it punch back and push and pull in this way and that way with all your doubts. No, just ask yourself, how can I ease my resistance? That's what I ask myself all the time when I'm experiencing doubts. Okay, I'm feeling resistance right now. What do I gotta do? You know me, you know I love my meditation, my relaxing time, my deep breathing. That's usually the first thing I go to is, okay, I'm feeling some resistance. I'm gonna do some a little bit of a meditation, maybe 10 minutes. Just stop the thoughts a little bit. Stop my thoughts, clear out. Almost, It's almost like pushing the reset button, right? And that immediately, just taking a deep breath like that, just immediately puts me into this place of just ease, relaxation, not needing to make anything happen, knowing that the universe has my back at all times and I can make decisions, I can take certain actions knowing they are the right decisions because everything is always right in the universe and the universe is always guiding me, right? Just in that moment of a deep breath, all those thoughts come to me, the resistance-free thoughts, right? That's so powerful. Now, of course, there might be some times when I kind of do a meditation, some breathing exercise, and I'm still like, maybe caught up on a certain thing with my manifestation or, you know, maybe I was trying to manifest 
um, you know, money for a trip or something and something else came up and, you know, maybe a medical bill came up and all that money that I had kind of manifested and built up now, all of a sudden it's gone. So it's like, what, wait, what's going on, right? And even the meditation's not really helping. Sometimes I'll just drop everything and go, go walk in nature, go walk in nature. I walk outside, you can see the trees around me here. I walk outside, there's a little uh, lake out there. I walk out, just take some deep breaths, just kind of enjoy the scenery, enjoy all that. Again, ways and just calming the resistance, getting out of my head, not arguing with the doubts, not arguing with what has already happened, just getting out, getting out, walking around the lake, maybe being grateful a little bit, listening to some things I'm grateful for, putting, you know, taking those low vibrations and getting them out, getting back up to where I need to be in this more relaxed state, this more high vibe state. That's very, very, very powerful for me. There's just this idea of whenever I'm feeling resistance or doubts, I just remind myself, okay, I need to let go for a little bit. I just need to let go for a little bit. I just need to be, I'm not, I don't wanna, you know, you can try to work, you know, massage yourself back up to better feeling thoughts. That's absolutely possible. I've done that before too, but I just find for me, when I'm having a lot of doubts and just, you know, it's hard to bring myself back up. I just need to let go. I need to drop the reins, let go of the oars as Abraham Hicks talks about. Go for a walk, go do something fun, get my mind out of this whole manifestation thing, all the out of the law of attraction thing, and just be for a little bit, just be for a little bit. And again, that's I notice every time I do that and then I come back to maybe some visualizing or, or focusing more on my goals and manifesting my goals, I have a lot less doubt, a lot less resistance. Maybe there might still be, right, some, but my desire is much higher, okay? My, my knowing that the universe has my back is much higher, that I can just relax. I don't need to take a bunch of action and do all this stuff. I can take a breath and know that everything that I'm doing is leading me to what I want, that the universe has my back, that there's nothing else to worry about. That's very, very, very key, very, very important. So that's my kind of gist. If you're experiencing doubts, just remember, that's okay. That happens to everybody, it's all good. But you know, you linger in too much of those doubts, it's gonna continue to stall your manifestation. So sometimes it's best just to let go, go for a nice walk, um, you know, do some meditation time, relaxing time, Go do something fun for a little bit. Get your just mind out of this. Get it out just a little bit. And you'll notice when you come back, you'll always be feeling a little bit better. Go watch some content. I love Abraham Hicks's content. Abraham Hicks talks so purely about the law of attraction. Such a nice, relaxed way of talking. Just a refresher how powerful we are, how powerful this universe is. It always gets me back on track as well. So those are a few things you can do if you are experiencing doubts with the law of attraction, experiencing resistance. Again, treat those doubts as resistance only. How can I ease up my resistance? And from there, I'm telling you, your vibration is going to be raised back up to levels that you need it to be. And you'll find that a lot of those doubts will start going away one after another after another. If you enjoyed today's video, please take a moment and smash that like button so we can get the video out to more people that need to see it. Also, subscribe if you've not already done so. Click the notification bell so you are alerted every time I post a new video. That's it for me for now, Epic Fibers. Have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.